Ready for an update on the BioCube? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, this is Brian and I'm coming at you with an update on the uh, Coralife BioCube. This is a 29 gallon BioCube if you're kind of new to the channel and uh, aren't familiar with it. Um, I've had it now for about two and a half years. Started it up in like May or June of 2016, or excuse me, 2015. And it's been doing pretty good. I've had definitely ups and downs over those two years. Uh, right now I'm coming, kind of coming off another, I guess, down period, if you will. But I think I've got things under control. I started some of my soft corals all of a sudden started closing up on me and I even lost the torch I think here um, and so I did check my parameters and for whatever reason my KH and um, calcium had gone way up so or excuse me I take that back KH had dropped calcium had gone way up uh, which I'm not a I'm not really good with the science and chemicals of fish tanks, but from what I understand, that's related. Anyway, um, I've got that back almost under control. We're working on it. Um, things are starting to progress. The Duncan is today um, as open as I've seen it in quite some time, so that's really cool. Um, and the hammer right here is starting to open back up and this octospawn is um, remarkably opening up compared to just like two days ago. Like I say, I, I'm pretty sure I lost the torch, um, but uh, everything else seems to be bouncing back. Um, during that process, I didn't have any problems with the green star polyps or the zoas or the pallies, any of the other stuff. Um, in there. This uh, bird's nest up on the top has died on me though. Not related to that, I don't think. And even this leather toadstool over here is doing fine. Um, there's a firefish. So anyway, that's kind of an update on what's been going on. Um, fish are all doing well. I am more than likely going to be tearing down this tank. Not for good, but to rid myself of a problem and that is a rose I think it's a rose crab that I have in here um, either that or my pistol shrimp are the culprits of always killing ornamental shrimp cleaner shrimp fire shrimp that type of thing that I put in here so I am going to take it apart so that I can catch probably both of them and uh, and then I can start adding shrimp again to this tank. So shrimp are more important to me than either of those two um, animals. So that's what's going to happen. Um, the problem is with the crab and the pistol, they're always in hiding. So you, I, I can't just get them out without taking the rock structure apart. So I'm going to have to do that. And it's not going to be fun, but we're going to go ahead and do it. I'll be happier in the long run. Other than that, um, that's really about all I've got for an update on this tank. Um, if you uh, liked what you saw and this is your first time uh, checking out my videos, make sure you subscribe, give the video a like, share it if you'd like, I'd really appreciate that. Um, and if you're interested at all in trying out Southern Delight fish food, I do sell that both in bulk and bottles. We've got food that is available for both saltwater and freshwater, the entire line of food. It's great food and uh, really like to be able to get you um, started on it if you are interested. So hit my email address up below if you're interested in trying Southern Delight. We can talk. Uh, until next time, I appreciate everybody that subscribes and watches these videos. Uh, make sure um, to stay tuned for my next video and we'll talk to you later.